In, in this video, we are going to install PostgreSQL and dBeaver. So this is your team now coming into play. We have a dBeaver who speaks SQL and can talk to the database, which is PostgreSQL. And this is also where the SQL element for our course comes from. For the installation of the two on any of these three major operating systems, we need to go to postgresql.org and the beaver IO. I will now show you live and in action. I get a Linux machine open already. Here I only need to go to this page, dbeaver.io, and there click on download and take the respective installer here, for example, a Debian package for this. A Linux Mint machine. Then I can close the browser already because I downloaded that before and this will allow us to install dbeaver in a few minutes. But before this we're going to get the database. We're going to use the command line for this because it's easy and quick. So let me enlarge the text here on the terminal and type sudo apt update and give the user password. So we are updating in this system. It should all be fine. And now we're going to do a sudo apt install and we are going to install PostgreSQL and PostgreSQL dash contrib like this. And here we're getting an information of what's going to be installed. If you're fine with this, we hit yes for this process to continue. And it's pretty quick to install in the database here. And only one little thing we have to do on the consoles after installing this version is to set a password for the Postgres user. So how to do that? We take super user privileges as the user Postgres like this. Then we are connected as the Postgres user here on this mint box, as you can see. And now we are opening PSQL, which is the command line interface of the PostgreSQL database. Now here we can say alter uh, user. Uh, the username is Postgres. And then uh, with an encrypted password, and then we give a password. I usually use one, two, three, four here for this uh, demo machines uh, for the courses. And if this was all correct, and we get a confirmation message here where it says alter role. This means everything has been fine. Now we can quit out of here and backslash Q, exit the super user console with exit and the uh, standard console as well with exit. And now here I can open this Debian package with a double click, install it. Also again here, give my administrator password. And now we already have the package. Now we're ready to go. We can open the start menu, look for the beaver. There it is. So we open it. And first of all, it asks us if we want to create a sample database. I will say no, because right now we're going to define our own database connection. So I select PostgreSQL here and I now give the password that I just set for this Postgres user and I click on test connection. This will usually prompt me to download a driver file, which may take a second. Then I click on and download and now I get a message that everything is fine. So I can, before I finish here, switch to this next tab and select show all databases and click finish. And this is it. And this is all we have to do for installation of PostgreSQL and dBeaver uh, on a Linux operating system. So I can minimize that and switch now to the Windows machine. On the Windows machine, we also go to this uh, website first, dbeaver.io. You to download and then you take the Windows installer. You get something like this on your machine. I already got this here. And we're going to install that in a second. And then you go to postgresql.org. And also here you can either go to download or click this and download a button. And, and then if you're on Windows, you take this one. And if you're on Mac, this one, it actually doesn't matter because there in the next step, you get to click download in the installer here at the top, at the beginning of this text. And this will take you to this page here uh, from 
uh, enterprise db edb and uh, if you are mac then take uh, this package here if you are windows and this package okay i'm just going to show this for windows because i not have a mac and then we're going to install in the database by double clicking this postgresql installer hit yes uh, for this app to make uh, changes to the device it's going to grab two uh, small uh, c++ redistributables for itself and then, then we are created to the setup wizard then we can click next the installation directory i leave it as is uh, for the components we only need in the postgresql server so we can uncheck pg admin and stack builder and we leave checked in the comment line tools just in case so then next we have the data directory that I also leave as is. And here we have to type a password. I used one, two, three, four. Make sure it is something you can remember. If you don't want to remember in your head, please write it down somewhere because I won't be able to help if you forget your password. Okay, and then click next. The port, I also leave it the way it is and the locale as well. And then we can see a pre-installation summary. I go on next and we are now ready to install. So we click next and the installation will actually be running. And once this is finished, we get to this screen here where it says completing the setup wizard and we can click on finish. Now it's time to install the beaver. And so we execute the exe for the beaver, select English as an installation language, click next. I click I agree, click next, uh, select everything here for the components to install, click next, uh, the destination folder, leave it as is, and click install. And here we are also uh, given the option to directly create a desktop shortcut. I will do this and will open the Beaver now directly. Once the Beaver has loaded, it's asking me to create a sample database. I hit a no, and now I directly here select post GSQL, click next and give my password and I click test connection. Here I have to download and the driver and I get a okay message and I can hit finish. This is and the same on Windows. And now that we have done like we did on a Linux box, if you have any questions, especially if anything does not work for you, feel free to ask in the Q&A and I will be happy to assist. See you in the next video.